lesson. So we're moving on to part two of my review of episode four of The Golden Bachelor. But before we get there, let me address the pink elephant in the room. These cringe-worthy kisses. Somebody had made a comment on my last video that had me dying and me rolling for hours. They said, can we talk about these bird kisses that Gary is giving out? <laughs> it just made me like visualize this mama bird like feeding these baby birds. These kisses are killing me right now i mean you get a kiss you get a kiss you get a kiss you know right here you see him kissing Teresa, ellen susan and leslie but he's kissing all the women in the house at this point i mean does anybody else find this to be cringeworthy gary stop it stop it stop kissing all the women in the house okay so let's move on so Gary ends up having a talk with Kathy regarding her off-putting behavior towards Teresa. Teresa has told Gary, look, Kathy told me to zip it. She just told me to zip it. And he's feeling some type of way. Now Kathy's off and she's like upset because she's like, oh my goodness, I'm definitely going home without a rope. But this is what I do not understand for the life of me. As pressed and bothered as she is by Teresa talking about her dates with Gary, she is acting like a private detective, reminding me, it's giving me the old school books that we used to read about private detective work, where she is just nosy as anything, asking everybody in the house about their experiences with Gary, but yet she's so bothered by Teresa. Please make it make sense. It makes no sense. But a heartfelt moment in this episode is when he gives Susan a rose quartz. It's a crystal that he says holds meaning because Susan reminds him of his late wife and he expresses that to her. And I just think that aside from this bird kiss, that is a really, really, really precious moment. Um, he's a really nice guy. I like Gary a lot.